Hey guys, Nicky with the power stage from the Swedish rally with my Petter Solberg WRC3 Championship career mode thing season series show bonanza thing. <laughs> so, power stage has not been a brilliant rally so far. We did a couple of decent stages finishing in second place. Um, obviously, we had a, a roll on stage one after a few corners. Well, that was only like about a mile or two into the stage, or whatever it was. Um, and then we had a spin on one of the big, one of the really big jumps. Them jumps are just so hard. Like, even if you go slow, a brick, well, not really brick, because then you do a nose dive. But if you like lift off a bit before you go over it, you can still do a nose dive, and it's just hard to get right in this game. Which I kind of like that because it's a challenge. But then other times it's just like, oh my god, I go over a jump, and my car is now ruined. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so onto the power. Well, back to the power stage. First split, we're up by seven tenths of a second in first place. So that's good. Hoping to get the three points as the rally has been brilliant. I think we're in fifth place at the moment in the rally, and obviously it's the second rally of the season. Um, Monte Carlo rally wasn't brilliant. Um, we had a couple of problems. Obviously, stage three crashing out. Well, not crashing out, but we had a crash, ruined the car. So hoping to get some decent points here or well, here. <laughs> Oh, I hit my accent. I said here, not here. But anyway, um, I don't actually know if we go over them big jumps on this stage. But anyway, so second, well, second split, we're down in fourth place by nine tenths of a second now. So we lost quite a bit of time. And there, oh my God, junction right. Um, I thought it was going to be in one of them 90 degree turns again, but it wasn't. It was more than that. It was like, oh, it was like almost a hairpin. Well, it was a hairpin really, and just braked way too late, it was going too fast, locked the brakes up and decided straight into the barriers, completely missed the turn. And now so more than halfway through the stage we're coming up to the third split and we are down now down in ninth place. Four point six down now. What the oh well yeah, because of that um little moment. Oh we're onto the jumps now. Can we survive them? One more yeah I think we pretty much survived that. So well Jesus Christ, <laughs> getting a bit of a slide on there, nearly spinning the whole car. It was more of a, like a half spin, but managed to come back from it. These narrow sections can be really fun, but they're quite hard. I say that pretty much every freaking video, but <laughs> oh well, I, they just are. So now, oh, there's that crash jump that I talked about in the um, st uh, what would you call it, the video from stages one to five. Can be quite bad, but anyway, so it's final split time 4.7 uh, down now. We're in seventh place, probably not going to get any points from this power stage, but oh well, still going to get some championship points because we're in like fifth or sixth. But it depends on the power stage. If we lose too much time, we'll go down, obviously, but if we gain a bit of time, we might go up, but I don't know. So we're coming towards the end of the stage, I think this is the final corner. It was a reasonably short stage, well, about three minutes long. Uh, so now we're on this final corner and then it is the end of the stage. There we go, finish line. And we finish in fourth place. So, oh my god, <laughs> one position off getting one point. It was only one point, but oh, it was close. So, finish 2.4 two, uh, 2 off the leader. Well, the winner of the stage, Sebastian Nergi, who gets the three points. And then, the person in second place who gets two points, Danny Sardo, who's only eight tenths off. And then, Mika Hervin, who gets the one point in third place, who is the rally, rally leader, I think. I might have been Ogier. Uh, 2.09 down. He gets the one point, and then us, Petter Solberg in f fourth, obviously, and then Yari Matti Latvila in fifth, uh, down 3.4 after leader this year. So final rally classification. Then Mikko Haven and wins the rally by 2.17 over this year, and then Danny Sordo in third place, who was 9.6 down, and then us, Petter Solberg and Chris Patterson, obviously co-driver, in fourth with a well 17.03 down, which is a massive gap between third and fourth place and then Latvala in fifth place only about two seconds down on us with 19.8 behind Hevenham and then Erosia Oitanak and then Mads Osberg wow 40, <laughs> Mads Osberg 44.4 down on Mick Haven and that's only eighth place so uh, why is there only seven rallies I mean seven stages oh no I've started a new championship mode on my um, oh, Jesus, my channel 
and there is seven stages so I don't know what's gone on there but obviously I've done something wrong but anyway so there's gonna be six stages in every rally but there is actually seven stages if you include the special stage and then I mean the super special stage and there's another stage as well but I don't know, don't know what's going on there I'll figure it out but anyway um, guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a like uh, comment what you think to WRC3 if you've got it and other stuff and if you don't have it comment what you think to this video please it'd be much appreciated I don't like getting feedback so it can help me improve as a uh, commentator <laughs> so yeah so thanks for watching comment like favorite and subscribe goodbye <laughs>